Hello and welcome back to Speed Freak Garage, home of Power Sports on YouTube. So I just got back from a pretty long work and vacation trip to Japan. Videos coming soon. And um, while I was gone, I left our Porsche rally car with Ecotech Import Automotive in St. Louis, Missouri. They are the number one shop in the area for rally cars, VWs, Subarus, they are the place to go. So I left the car with them and I gave them a giant list of stuff that I've been having problems with. And I was like, guys, this car has been a nightmare. You know, if you can help me, awesome. So uh, while I was gone, the car was finished and my father and brother were nice enough to bring it back to the shop for me. So this is going to be the first time I've seen the car in over three weeks. So let's go take a look at what Ecotech did for us while I was gone. Uh, if the lights will work. Okay. <coughs> so as you guys know from last time, we had an issue where the seats were so tall that I was hitting my head on the roll cage padding. So uh, the very first thing Ecotech did is they cut the floor, they welded in strengthening plates, they welded in all of the belt mounting anchors, and they had to weld, design and weld a brand new harness bar. So we had to have a whole new harness bar made. If I can get you guys a better view of it. So... Uh, Ecotech had to weld in a whole new harness bar and our co-driver is going to paint it for me. I specifically told them to leave it unpainted because um, our co-driver does paint. So um, the harness bar is in. They mocked the belts up for me so I can try them out. Uh, the anchors are in. The seats are in. <clears throat> and something really, really awesome is they also finished the brake system. Completely finished. So the hydro works. The line lock parking brake works the brake pedal works, and they even figured out how to bleed the clutch master for me. Sorry, I was supposed to prime the slave cylinder before I put it in the bell housing. So they had to use a specialty pressure bleeding system to get it bled properly. Um, so they did a bunch of custom work for me there. They ran all the brake lines. They got everything fitted the way it needs to be so that it's safe and functional during a rally race. So. They've got the front brakes up top, the rear brakes on the bottom. So the dual masters, 7 eighths front, uh, 5 eighths rear, including a bias adjuster that they got. Um, they got a bracket, they put a heat shield in for me, they relocated the coil packs, and they, I had the, as you guys saw, I had installed these myself, so they went along with that and they got everything to work and function correctly, which is awesome. So we got brakes now, we got a clutch now, and it's all nice and tucked away. They were able to <clears throat> maintain the request to have everything hidden under this cover. So that's awesome. Um, we're gonna get in the seat here in a sec and try it out. So you can sort of not really see, but they had to do a ton of welding work on the seats and to get the seats lowered and strengthened and to get the the seat belt anchor strong enough to meet the FIA spec. So <clears throat> the other thing they did, and I don't have the car positioned right to get it on the lift, it's way off center. So the other thing they did is they added a bumper and radiator guard to the skid plate. So the original skid plate design kind of fell short once we added the lower LS radiator and engine oil pan. So they added this guard up here for me. So if I came down hard, like a nosedive, then it would bounce off and not tear the bumper out. So that was specifically requested by me to do, add that. So the car is in a much better condition now for me to continue work on it. Um, <clears throat> the problem is I am completely out of money. So, <laughs> so I might have to sit and twiddle my thumbs and play video games for a couple weeks or months so I can gather up the money I need to continue with the project properly. Let's go ahead and get in the car and I'll show you how it fits. Okay, so it took me a little bit of time, but I got the belts on and I got them cinched down pretty tight so I can't really move around 
you know, kind of like if we're racing, we're going to have the belts as tight as we can get them, obviously. So <clears throat> I might have the belt a little high on my waist, but that can always be adjusted later. <clears throat> so you can see there's tons of room, but it all comes down to what happens when you put the helmet on, right? <clears throat> So we got the helmet on, and look at that. There's a good inch between me and the cage. So I can move my head any way I want, turn it, no bumping on the pads of the cage anymore. And even if I go like this, I'm not hitting the cage. So I'm bumping over bumps, you know, whatever, racing, not hitting the cage. So that was the number one thing we needed was to fit in the car and not touch the cage. And that's what we got. So that's awesome. So hopefully sometime soon I can continue work on this project. Just give me some time. You know, money doesn't grow on trees. You guys know that. So, you know, give me a little leeway and I'll be back in a few weeks. Uh, we'll continue work on the project. So I'll see you guys then. And thank you so much, Ecotech, for getting me to fit in this tiny little car. You guys did a great job. Thank you.